as we kick off the World Sports Betting Winter Series. The Variety Club, Marlfield, ready to go. Gates swing back, and they sent on their way with Jem King just a little bit slow into stride. It's Raining William was the first one to break with King Regent racing half a length away in second in the early stages. Native Tongue back in third. Then comes Baratheon who races in fourth. A couple of lengths away to Jem King who recovers and races alongside without question. Then two lengths away to Hood Sprays and Pomp and Power has got the brakes on at the back of the field racing an even eight lengths off the field as they take the corner turn and it's Raining William in front by one length over King Regent who races away in second. Native Tongue back in third but they're going an even tempo. Then comes Baratheon, who races away in that fourth spot at the outside of Jem King. Without question, races in sixth place as they make their way through the crossover. Hood Sprays is one from last, and Pomp and Power is racing at the back of the field through the final 700 metres. It's raining. William tows them along towards the top of the straight. He's in front by just over one length. King Regent is second. Then comes Native Tongue, who races back at the rail in third and a length and a half behind the leader, Jem King, Baratheon, they together, two lengths away to without question. Then came Hoodspray towards the far side. Pump and Power directly behind without question. They launching at the same time. It's Raining William in front, 300 metres left to run over King Regent, who's now level. Then comes Native Tongue without question, runs large towards the outside. Pump and Power further back then to Jim King. It's now King Regent. They're running all over the place. It's Raining William fights hard without question. Nearest does. Native Tongue runs a huge race as well, but without question, found extra. Without question, a full of value win. Second goes the way of Hootsprate. Then came its reigning William in third. And fourth goes the way of Native Tongue. You can make the same argument for a few, including the winner. King Regent was out after those and then came Baratheon. So the winners in the white sleeves and the green cap towards the left-hand side took them a few strides to warm up as they uh, started to uh, drift out under pressure. Native Tongue had to go back in. But without question, pulls away, turns it on in style. He found a gear with about 150 metres left to run and left the other standing still, to be fair. Race seven, the World Sports Betting Variety Club Mile, a grade three over the 1600 meters has been won by number four without question. The son of the United States, well done to Rasta Molise. He receives his thousand rand from Hollywood Bets, thanks to them and Cape Racing. Back to without question, Richard aboard. Richard, well done. Thank you, Vicky. We know that he's capable over a bit further, but it was a very impressive win today. Uh, very much indeed. Uh, got a 20 point penalty for running third in the, in the Cape Tarby, but uh, He's just made so much improvement at home, so as he got the weight, he he, he gamed up, and uh, he's a lovely horse. Um, yeah, just pleased to be riding him. Uh, well done to the whole snake team, to Mr. Johnson and his family. I've got a nice horse, yeah. With regards to, I see you've got a big smile on your face. What was it about the win or the manner in which he ran today that impressed you the most? Well, everything went wrong for him, and he still won. So, and it's a mile, it's far too short for him. Classic horse. Um, He's built like that and he's in improving sort every time, or every month that goes by, he's getting better. So, uh, signs of a, a true class horse. So, no pressure on Mr. Snaith and the team. This is a good one. We've got we to get him in the Group 1 winner's box. Well, Richard, uh, you've got work ahead of you, but well done for the win. <laughs> Thank you very much. And also to my sponsors at Winning Form. Thanks for the support. Yeah, that's Richard Free. Jono Snaith is going to be representing Snaith Racing. Jono, well done for the win. Yeah, you know, it, it wasn't much of a surprise. I know Richard was super confident coming to this race and this is just a prep run for the Group 1 Daily News and um, he'll probably go up next week, early next week, so I must say well done to Nick Johnson and uh, this is what we spotted early at the sale, you know, I, I was a United States fan and at one stage I wasn't looking very good but when a horse like this pops up it makes it all worthwhile, so we, we invested quite heavily in the United States and it's great that one comes through and I think he's a progressive type and this is definitely his best run of his career. And even though he ran third in the derby, I think he's a horse that has improved. And if you look at him physically, he's a horse that's just going to get better with time. And um, when you notice him at the sales, the, the mare Sienna Star is actually one of the groom's horses. So um, 
we are delighted to support the grooms and uh, we actually came the next year to try by the Futura because we were really impressed with him but he went for I think around about two million rand so um, a mare to definitely look and well done to, to Shivali and Bourne Costa they really breed a good horse and um, also to um, World Sports Betting and Cape Racing. Well done Jono. Thank you very much. Just uh, Hilton Hassan's going to hand over you've got two trophies to accept so thank you to Jono for accepting both the trainers and the owners uh, trophy and thank you very much to Hilton Hassan from World Sports Betting for that. Hilton come and have a chat we've got some time. Hilton uh, firstly well done on not only a lovely day today but a brilliant weekend up in Turfontein. Yeah thanks uh, Vicky. It's, like I said on Saturday it's quite a busy week for us we've got Turfontein on Saturday, then we've got today, and then we've got the Phillies, Guineas, and Guineas in Durban on uh, Saturday. But uh, what part of uh, this involvement is, is the best part for you? Oh, it's definitely the racing part. Um, and especially especially when you have quality fields, and I think, um, before I go further, a very big thank you and well done to Justin for Mark. It was actually his idea. He came to me before the season. He said to me, listen, I know this is a three-year-old series, but let's, uh, let's throw it open to old horses. Uh, maybe we can improve the quality and if you compare what we've had in the last couple of years to, to the sort of field we had today, I think the uh, decision was justified. Well it was, I mean there were group horses and, and, and just really quality sorts and it's lovely as a brand that you can be involved with that. Yeah absolutely, um, obviously we have to see what happens with leg two and three, see if there's that type of quality because I'm sure a lot of these horses will be heading down to Durban but hopefully you can fill the fields for, uh, for the 1600 and 1800 in the next month or so. Well thank you very much for your sponsorship and uh, being here today. Thanks Vicky. Thank you very much uh, to Hilton Hassan and uh, just a word from him from the world sports betting point of view. Uh, looking forward to, as he's mentioned, this is sort of the second part of their, their busy week leading into uh, the Guineas and KZN. But uh, back to the world sports betting variety club mile. Well done to number four without question. Son of the United States, a brilliant, brilliant run they've been having as of late. And to Shively Stud for breeding. Nick Johnson owning, Richard Free for riding. Really lovely uh, win and uh, classy sort that... Sounds like he's only on the up.